Eggless No Yeast Donuts Recipe In this video, we'll see the donuts without yeast and if you don't have chocolate to coat these donuts, you can make simple powdered sugar coated donuts and the dish is amazing as well. You can also use dairy milk or milky bar chocolates to coat these donuts. Hey guys, this is Ruhi and welcome back to my channel Mrs. Som for a complete home. If you are watching my videos for the first time, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. Let's quickly learn how to prepare these light and fluffy donuts. For this, in a bowl, I have taken 1.5 glass of maida or all-purpose flour. If you are using measuring cups, you can use 2.5 cups of maida, half glass or half cup of powdered sugar, pinch of salt, 3 4 teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda. All together, give it a good mix. Now, to this, add half cup or half glass of room temperature milk. To this, add 2 teaspoon of vinegar or you can add 2 teaspoon of lemon juice as well. Now, knead the dough. If required, add 1 or 2 tablespoon of water. After kneading the dough for 5 minutes, add 2 tablespoon of butter. If you don't have butter, you can use ghee instead of it. Here I have used salted butter and now again knead the dough for 5 minutes. So total time to knead the dough around would be 10 to 12 minutes. Apply some butter or ghee on the top so that the top layer doesn't dry out. After that, we need to cover the dough and let it rest for at least 1 hour. After 1 hour, knead the dough for 10 to 15 seconds. This dough looks so soft and fluffy. Take out some portion of it. The rest of the dough will cover it with a cloth and keep it aside until it is kneaded. Sprinkle a little maida and roll this dough. We need to roll this dough slightly thick. To cut these donuts, I am using a sharp edge round glass. And if you have donut cutter, you can use that. Take out the extra dough and you can again use it to make the donuts. To make the holes at the center, I am using a small plastic cap. Sprinkle some dry flour on a plate and take out these donuts. Now these donuts are ready to be fried. So here I have got some oil. The oil should be medium hot. Now drop these donuts and fry until they turn brown and crispy from outside. As we keep on frying these donuts, they slightly puff up and really looks like yeast donuts. Make sure you do not fry them at high flame. In that case, they may cook from outside but inside they would be raw. So make sure you do not do that. You can see here how nice, light and fluffy they are. Similarly, fry the rest of donuts. So here I have fried all the donuts. They look beautiful and really puff well. Now I am going to melt this dark chocolate in microwave for 1 to 1 and a half minute. 
instead of this you can also use milk chocolate or you can use dairy milk chocolates now melt some white chocolate in microwave for one to one and a half minute instead of this you can also use milky bar chocolates now coat these donuts in this melted chocolate Make some designs like this. Just drizzle some chocolate on it. You can decorate the donuts as you want to. You can just simply coat these donuts with powdered sugar. This donut tastes amazing as well. Adding some sprinklers on top of the donuts and this is optional. All the donuts are ready to serve. They have turned out light and fluffy. Though there are no yeast donuts, they taste amazing. My kids really enjoyed a lot. Give this recipe a good try and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please give a thumbs up and do share with your friends and relatives. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Until then, have a great day. Bye bye.